water here. We're not only checking for function, but we're checking for form. We're also looking at your exhaust flow. We're looking at your TPR downpipe. We're looking to make sure it's functional. There's no leaks, there's no issues. A couple things going on with this one. You have an expansion tank here. Expansion tank that's being supported by CPVC plumbing. Not really recommended. We would recommend this be at least mounted to the wall. CPVC is not designed to carry the load of that expansion tank. Also down here at the bottom, got what looks like a little leak on the bottom of the water heater. So this is obviously stuff that we know during the home inspection process and we put on our report and we notify the client on our findings when we're all done. So this is Justin with Hope Home Inspections. And what are you doing, Justin? Are you setting up air quality? Yep, we're setting up some air quality and sampling today here in Sarasota. Uh, we're just gonna make sure that all of our air inside the house is healthy and we're not gonna have any kind of health complications from any unknown factors. So this house is a little over 3,000 square feet. So as you can see, Justin's got one set up here on the first floor living room area. We try to find a centralized area where we can get good airflow from the AC and potentially stir up what would be any kind of organic growth, mold spores. See our boy Justin going up to the second floor where he's gonna set up his second sample. Each one of these air quality samples are good for about a thousand square feet. And since this house is a little over 3,000, we would always recommend a third interior sample. So we'll be reaching out to the client to see if that's something that they're interested in. Um, if not, then again, we'll find some good centralized areas where there's a lot of airflow and we'll see if we can uh, get some good samples inside the house. We also take a control sample outside, and all we're doing there is we're comparing what our outside sample looks like compared to our inside sample. We wanna make sure that obviously those elevated levels outside are not being brought inside the home. That could lead us to believe that there's either air loss, vapor loss, or there's organic growth from potential moisture intrusion. All right, so here we are with the air quality again. Justin has set this up on the second floor. And again, a centralized location where you can see he is trying to get some airflow from this bedroom. You also have a bedroom back here, right there. You got a couple of bedrooms over on this side. We have our ceiling fan running. So we're really trying to stir up any kind of dust. Again, over 3000 square feet. We wanna to try to see if the client will approve a third sample so we can really tackle every area of this property air quality sample here. We're setting up our control outside. Justin's taking some pictures just for the report so we can document where it was set up and what our serial numbers and stuff are. Um, when we're setting this up outside, again, we're trying to get a control. We want to know what kind of mold is outside, what's present, so we can compare that to our inside samples and also our levels. Whenever we set this up, we don't want it to be under any cover, any trees or anything like that. We always want it to be wide out in the open so we can get a true sample and get good results from our lab. Thank you.